Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will talk you through the answers for the add fractions within one worksheet and will hopefully help you through some of the tricky bits. Question one says complete the models below. So we have three fifths and four fifteenths, we need to add those together. So to do that we need to convert the fifths into fifteenths. So we need to make the denominator on both fractions the same so we can add them together. And 15 is a multiple of 5, so we know we can do that. So we'll convert the fifths to 15s. Here is a bar model here, split into uh, fifths. Now we're looking at 3 fifths. We're starting with 3 fifths, so I'm just going to shade 3 fifths in. So to convert the fifths into 15s, we're going to need to split each of those fifths into 3 equal parts. So we'll have 15 in total for, of our, from our whole. So let's just split each of these fifths into three equal parts. And now we have fifteenths. So we have 15 equal parts. We were looking at three fifths, which was this bit here, three fifths. And as fifteenths, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine fifteenths. So three fifths is equivalent to nine fifteenths. And now we can add 9 fifteenths and 4 fifteenths much more easily. They're both fifteenths. So 9 fifteenths and the 4 fifteenths would be 13 fifteenths. Let's do the same here for B. We have 1 third and 5 twelfths. We need to add those together. 12 is a multiple of 3, so we can convert the thirds into twelfths. Here's a bar model here. We have our thirds. We're looking at 1 third. We'll shade that in. So to convert thirds to twelfths, we're going to need to split each of these thirds into four equal pieces. So let's just do that. So we're splitting our thirds into four equal pieces. So now we have twelve equal pieces. We've got twelfths. We were looking at one third here, which now, as twelfths, is four twelfths. So one third is equivalent to four twelfths. And now we have twelfths, we can add four twelfths and five twelfths, add those together, and we'll have nine twelfths. Question two says, match the calculations for the correct answers using the bar models to help you. So we have A here, which is one quarter, one fourth, have three twelfths, and we have uh, three possible results there. One could be is eleven twelfths, two is six twelfths, and three is ten twelfths. So let's have a look at this calculation and see which of those results uh, we make. So we have one quarter add three twelfths. Well, twelve here is a multiple of four, so we know we can convert the four for the quarters into twelfths. And here's a bar model here, which is split into quarters. We are looking at one quarter, one four, so I'm just going to share that in. And we need to convert it to twelfths. So that means we're going to need to split each of these quarters into three equal pieces. So we're multiplying four by three. And that will mean that we have twelfths. So now we have twelve equal pieces and we were looking at one quarter, which now is three twelfths. So one quarter is equivalent to three twelfths. And now we can do three twelfths add three twelfths, which will make six twelfths. And that is answer number two. B is three quarters add one twelfth. So it's the same thing again. We're going to convert the quarters, the fourths, into twelfths. Here's our bar model with quarters. We're looking at three quarters. So we're looking at three of these four pieces. We're going to convert the quarters into twelfths. And that means we're going to, need to split each of these quarters into three equal pieces. So we'll have twelfths. So we're effectively multiplying 4 by 3 to change the denominator into 12. Here we're looking at 3 of these quarters, and then we, there we can see we have 9 of those twelfths. So 3 quarters is equivalent to 9 twelfths, and 9 twelfths add 1 twelfth means we would have 10 twelfths, and that is answer number 3. C is 2 quarters add 5 twelfths. And again, we can convert the quarters to twelfths by multiplying the denominator by three. 
uh, if we look at the bar model here, this, this is what's actually happening. So we have uh, two quarters. We've got our bar model into quarters. We're looking at two of these quarters. And we're going to convert the quarters to 12 by multiplying each of these quarters uh, by three. So let's move to three. So we were, we were looking at two of those quarters here. And now we can see we have six of those twelfths shaded in. So it's six twelfths, add five twelfths, and that will mean we have eleven twelfths. And that's answer number one. Question three says Sabrina and Salem are solving the calculation below. We have three quarters, add three sixteenths. So three fourths or three quarters, add three sixteenths. Sabrina is saying, I think the answer is 15 sixteenths. And Salem is saying, I think the answer is 6 sixteenths. Who is correct? Explain your answer. So if we look at the fractions, then we have th uh, quarters and sixteenths, or fourths and sixteenths. Sixteen is a multiple of four. So we should be able to convert this fraction here, three fourths or three quarters, into sixteenths. So I've got the bar model here split into four equal pieces. We're looking at three of those four equal pieces. So that's our fraction. So I'm just going to shade in three of those four pieces. So we need to convert quarters to sixteen. So we're going to split each of these quarters into four equal parts because we know we need to multiply four by four to make sixteen. So that means that each of these quarters, each of these fourths, we have to split into four equal parts. Let's just do that here. So each of these quarters we're split into four equal parts. So now we have sixteenths or sixteen parts. So the three quarters we were looking at here are now twelve of the sixteen parts. So three quarters is equivalent to twelve sixteenths. So now we can do twelve sixteenths, add three sixteenths. And that will mean that we have 15 sixteenths. So three quarters add three sixteenths is 15 sixteenths. So it was Sabrina who was correct. That was the video for the answers for the add fractions within one worksheet from Classroom Secrets. If you want to watch a video tutorial linked to the skills in this worksheet, you can go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or for more resources linked to this skill, you can go to classroomsecrets.co.uk.